JavaScript is one of the most versatile coding languages out there. It is also the standard language for adding functionality to any modern web page. We'll start out with the plain JavaScript with no extra libraries or frameworks like jQuery, Angular, or React that you may have heard of added into it. That's called vanilla JS. That just means nothing added. Fantastic. This is playing with JS1, so if you've missed playing with HTML, CSS 1 through 3, head over to those videos on our channel. Otherwise, click on the code pen down in the description to follow along from where we left off. Okay, so this is playing with JS1. I've really just forked the last code pen that we did and renamed it here. Okay, so this is what we ended with last time. We want to start interacting with users. Let's learn a little bit about variables and what those can do for us in our user interaction for the website. We create a variable by typing var for var variable, and then naming our variable, we'll call it response, an equal sign, and then whatever we want to store in that variable, followed by a semicolon, like usual. So var response equals one. Great. Now to test that we've really stored that variable, we will say console.log, type response in our parentheses with a semicolon. This should log to a console our response variable. Now down here in the bottom bar, in the bottom left, you can see console, and here it says one. We can also check that by typing response, the name of our variable, pressing enter, and you'll notice that it logs it again. It says response one. I could test it again. I could say response plus one. We've got two. Or response equals response plus one. And check response again. Now it equals two because I've, in the console, set response to to now add one. It stores it back in the variable because I said equals. Great, so now we've got a little bit here in the console going on. Let's test some addition here. One plus two, and we should see the log here of three. I can say more complex things, 456 times 123, and there we go. So we can do equations and store them in variables just that simply. Even complex decimals, 45 divided by some odd big number. And you see we've got this crazy long decimal here. Okay, so we can also store what's called strings. So that's just inside of quotes. We can type whatever we want and it'll log that as well. We've got a string, Dustin is cool, stored in response. Let's take this a step further because this doesn't really help us interact with our users very much. But we can say response, let's get rid of our log here. We'll say var response equals prompt. And we'll say what is, oh, it already came up. What is your, oh my, your, <laughs> Try again. We will comment this out so it doesn't keep coming up. Our response equals prompt. What is your favorite color? Capitalize that W there. And let's uncomment this. Okay, what is your favorite color? And I can type my response in here. Now nothing happens yet, so we've got a little bit of work to do to interact with our user. So let's use that variable somehow. I'm going to comment this out again. That's just highlighting it and pressing command forward slash. That's just so that that doesn't keep popping up while we work on this. Now let's say, okay, if they tell us their favorite color, we can say body or document dot body dot style dot background color equals response. Okay, and 
Let's see if that worked here. We'll uncomment this. Green. Look at that. Okay, so now we have a little bit of user interaction. I can make this go again here, and I can even put in a, a hexadecimal value here and say one, two, three, D, D, D. See what comes up. We've got a nice blue color here. And we see here that that's, that's the very basics of a user reacting to our website. Now, obviously there's a lot more to be done here. The interaction is really basic and in order to change the color that our user picks, they would have to refresh the page, put it in back into the prompt again saying color red to change the background to red. I wanna make this a little bit more user friendly in playing with JS too. So make sure to comment with any questions, thumbs up on the video if you found it helpful and subscribe for our future videos. See you next time.